All right, game two. This is the uh, minimum wage is map choice coming out on Vani Research Station. Yeah, I mean, I think this is probably an okay map for him. He can protect his third base pretty well with tanks. I mean, Terran is always going to like a map with in bases because, uh, I mean, you can defend that ramp so easily. So, so yeah, I mean, uh, a pretty good game here. Minimum Rage knows what Shadver is all about now. I actually think that Mini Rage probably didn't have all that much info on Shadver. So uh, the two of them know each other a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and get this map started in the top portion of Vani Research Station. Currently up one Uh It's the Purple Protoss Shadver. And to the bottom part of Vani Research Station, got to be my favorite map of the current, or the new maps rather, it is the Orange Terran Player Minimum Rage. So I wonder if we're going to see some sort of proxy Stargate here out of uh, Shadver. I know he likes the all-in builds. Uh, not that proxy Stargate is all-in, but um, cheeky builds like that. I mean, this map is built for proxy Stargate. That being said, uh, Minimum Rage has probably faced it a number of times already, so he, he would probably know to scout for it. Yeah, I mean, looking at... I have this stats spreadsheet that I'm reading right now of the, the players in the previous rounds and what they who they played against. So Shadva hasn't played on this map yet in, uh, in All Invitational 6, so this is going to be the first time he's been on this map. So, But that being said, the previous Protoss versus Terrans, we have been seeing a lot of that Proxy Stargate come out. Uh, and we might be seeing it from Shadva here as well. He did just build an 11 gateway, which is pretty much as early as it can get apart from a 10 gate. So what's the reason that a Protoss would skip maybe a 12 or, or more standard 13 gate to get an 11? I mean, I understand the 10 gate because you get that cyber core out, or that, sorry, yeah, the cyber core out early and you can get the warp gate research started nice and fast. Um, but 11 gate, maybe, do you think you forgot to put it on 10 or, or is there a specific reason for 11? Yeah, I think for the 11 gate, that's saying, I want some fast tech, but I still have to wait for the gas to be mined for it. And I, I believe 11 is as fast as it can B would to be like smooth, if that makes sense. Okay. So as soon as you get like 150 gas, you can build that Stargate or something along those lines. So I imagine we'll be seeing something like that. Alternatively, yeah, you just like, I don't know, forgotten, made it earlier or something like that. <laughs> but I imagine <laughs> we'll be seeing something fast come out of Shadva here. He's also banking up the Chrono Boost as well. Yeah, and another interesting thing is there's no second gas here, so maybe he's going to be looking to go into a fast second base. Minimum Rage is being dirty, though. Look at this. we got a proxy factory coming up on the top of the map here. This is going to be great. Oh, I've he's no got idea a plan what this is going to be for. Hmm. Well, I would assume Widow Mines. Widow Mines. Do you reckon, I, Mines. Do you reckon he's going to lift it over? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Otherwise, he would have put so it closer. Cool. Yeah, and that's, that is pretty awesome. I mean, he can lift it into the natural here, and it's probably going to be out of sight of that Nexus if it was there. So um, if Shadver does go for a fast Nexus, which I'm assuming he's going to do, then uh, he's going to be... He, he has a potential to be hurting pretty bad if those Widowmines make some good connections. Stalker on the map catching that Reaper, though. That's a nice win for Shadver. Going to force that Reaper back. And there's not... He, you know, he might even be able to get a nice scout off with that Stalker as well if, uh, if he can get in the main here, so... Minimum Rage trying to stop Ooh. that, though, with the bunker. Shadva taking the outside expansion. I've seen this a lot for Zerg players, but I haven't yet seen it for a Protoss player. I've seen it also for a couple of Terrans on our team who didn't realize the in-base expansion <laughs> existed. <laughs> yeah, but, I wonder if he knew about it or not. Yeah. Like you said, he hasn't played I mean, it in... So cool. He hasn't played it in uh, <laughs> all in <laughs> 6 yet, so... Yep. So that, that's pretty cool. So sadly for Minimum Rage, he's not going to find a Nexus here, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. But meanwhile, this, this Stalker has just walked up right into Minimum Rage's base, and the Marines haven't been finished yet to get in the bunker. So that's also a product this is, of this 11 gate. Oh, this is terrible. I, I kind of wish Shadra would have stayed in the main. All he had to do was just run away from those uh, those Marines and stay out of bunker mm -hmm. range, and he could have killed so many more SCVs. Also, another thing that Minimum Rage is going to be sad for... Oh, the Widowmine is burrowing here, though, and it actually wasn't spotted by Shadra. He just lost four probes to that mine, but the Robo facility is on the way, so Observers will be a thing nice and soon here. But, uh, 
Yeah, I think that was a missed opportunity for Shadver. I mean, he did get some SCV kills already, but he could have still been in the main right now, still shooting things without taking too much damage. Oh, and he's he's found the factory now, so he knows what's up. But this, this Widow Mine is going to get a second shot off. It looks like Shadver is very well prepared for it. He has timed this out. Spot Don't on, lose the observer. Oh. Nope. That oh. Widowmine, yeah, that Widowmine must not be in any in range of anything there, so it's going to get picked off. And where's the second one? Going to get picked off as well, so that's going to be cleaned up here for uh, Minimum Rage. He's going to go ahead and lose his third Widowmine as well, but it, oh, it picks <laughs> picks off the Observer. That's so annoying. Oh, that's, that, that's fantastic. That's, that's so cool. Behind this, Minimum Rage is opting for the Star for getting getting his natural up, dropping the mules there as well. So we will be seeing some kind of drop, I imagine, come out of Minimum Rage as a follow-up as we don't see that second gas for the Banshee or, or a Tech Lab even for that matter. So this game's kind of evened out, I guess. Yeah, both, both players hit each other pretty hard. I mean, not, not as hard as we've seen in the past, but, you know, uh, how many workers kill here by each one? Four to five. So uh, mm. pretty even, like you said. Uh, probes can yeah, be a little bit quicker than SCVs, so... I'd say it's pretty even. Yeah, with the mules as well, we see that minimum rage is obviously like doubling, literally doubling Shadva's income right now. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty even at this stage, and we do see uh, the mech transition coming out of minimum rage as we would expect with the second factory coming down, the engineering bay here just uh, just in case is going to be oracles coming in anytime soon, and we will be having a drop, I imagine, very shortly with a few marines just to. Keep the pressure on Shadver as Minimum Rage would take a third base, I would imagine. Yep, but Shadver is more prepared this time. He's already got one Immortal on the field. The second one's just about to pop as well. And uh, it looks like he's sort of figured out Minimum Rage here. He's going to try to get nice and saturated on two bases. He's still recovering from those Widow Mines. And uh, I like this Widow Mine over here by Minimum Rage for when Shadver does decide to put a Nexus on the in base here. He might get picked off, so nice thinking there. A third immortal on the way, though, and and Shadver's going to find himself nice and set up. Mm. Shadver's probe uh, production has been pretty lacking for the past few minutes or so. His main is still half saturated, and his natural is also missing several probes. So, I wonder what the deal here is with the uh, the missing probes. He's gone up to the five gateways, but I don't think he quite has the income to afford it. He minimum rage is overtaken on the SCV count, and he's got a third CC halfway finished. So. Shadow really needs to pick up the pace, otherwise he's he's gonna be uh, out incomed. For lack yeah. Of a better word. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That that's a good point, and he has the chrono boost that he could be using to dump into these probes right now. And I think he's doing that now, uh, realizing that he's been he was falling a little bit behind. Actually, going into uh, Robo Bay here, which I think uh, probably is not gonna be too helpful for him. Although at the moment there's not a lot of tanks out, and he's moving across the map with. Not a lot of anything out for Minimum Rage, actually. I mean, he's got eight Marines moving across the map or so. Or five Marines, rather. Actually, there's a Reaper in there, so that's four Marines and a Reaper. There's only one tank out for Minimum Rage at home. There's an empty bunker, two Hellions, there's no mines, no anything else, and there's three Immortals walking up Minimum Rage's run. Oh, he's got to take care of that tank, though, if he wants to... Oh, well, that, that didn't take much. That tank pretty much goes down instantly here, and so much more damage happening or Shadra right now. I mean, Minimum Rage is shooting at the Nexus, but once these Zealots and Stalkers get down there, that's going to be taken care of. And meanwhile, the Immortals, are they kill buildings so quickly that it's just, like, unfair, almost. And uh, we can see that yeah. happening right now. I mean, if these Immortals were focusing one building, um, like they're focusing the Command Center down now, this is pretty much going to be the end of it. I don't know what Minimum Rage can do. Uh, he did look... It does look like he got cleaned up at the second base as well, so I don't know, I, I think this is pretty much GG here. Yeah, I think Minimum Rage could have made a couple of adjustments there. Maybe if he had scouted that Jadra went up to the five gateways before like any forge or Colossus Bay or whatever the hell and maybe then if he was like, oh hang on a minute, you're being slightly more aggressive and he got a few more mines out and he prioritized a little bit more defense, he might have had a second tank. Uh, he would have been able to hold this. I mean, if if he had these mines out, I mean, they already have half killed one of the Immortals, so yeah. if, if maybe the money from the drop was put into defense, he would have been able to hold that. 
Yeah, the mines really weren't in the best position there to uh, to defend, and I don't think he expected that many immortals coming up his ramp that quickly. I mean, otherwise he wouldn't have moved out with that drop. So, unfortunately for Minimum Rage, kind of getting the short end of the stick there, um, you know, with the luck factor where he goes for the drop, he attacks that Nexus that really doesn't matter too much to, to Shadra at that point because he already had his winning army on the other side of the map. So, uh, you know, the drop was pretty easily cleaned up, and Shadra takes care of Minimum Rage. So, unfortunately for Minimum Rage, he's going to drop down to the loser's bracket. But, that being said, he does have another chance here. He's going to be facing um, some more people who get knocked out of the first round. So, going to have a chance next week. No, it's two weeks from now to uh, to try to come back. But, 